that is all settled down and accept the fact that petrol for, uh, price is bad. Of course, it detects your pocket at the end of the day. But if you're looking at uh, purchasing or investing in properties of uh, five, six, seven hundred thousand, I don't think you're really going to get affected because the price of petrol has gone. I think it will, it will affect a lot of those people who are uh, uh, the low income group because it's a day to day expenses. But I think when, when it comes to that, I don't think it will have a serious effect on the market. Uh, I also don't think uh, uh, Trump winning again or losing again. Uh, will really affect the property market per se, unless Korea throws a, uh, shoots a bomb, um, then they will affect the market. I think the market in Malaysia is, uh, uh, in my point of view, strong enough. It's strong enough. Of course, we're not happy with the way the transactions are going on. But if you look at records since 2012, according to me, the market came down from 2012 right up to last year. Last year, it, it steady and then it grew a little bit. Uh, and the first half of this year, compared to the first half of last year, there was also an increase. And just to add on to what was said earlier, under HOC, 27,823 residential children were sold. It was given by the minister. 27,000 units were sold at 17.6 billion. Uh, Prima is unit 16,000 units sold, buried at 3.4 billion. And MIA also played a role in this, in this uh, Prima units. We sold nearly 4,000 units. <coughs> so I think property will continue to sell. Uh, as what was discussed, the affordability, of course, is because of the main issue. But government is trying all their ways on an ad hoc basis, uh, where the budget comes down, really to think about what we need to do to overcome this problem. I don't think there's a very holistic approach to how we can solve the housing uh, needs and housing problems, affordability problem in the country. But going forth, uh, I'm, I'm going to disagree with some of them because they already said the market is not going to be good. I think 2020 will see a rebound. 2020 will see a rebound. We are very optimistic it's going to change. Unless uh, something serious happens, then it might not go up. But I do believe it will go up. I've had many meetings with my agents, uh, and 70% and of the agents I spoke to said market last year went up. This year went up by 10 to 20%. Uh, and I think market is going to go up. Uh, we will face all these challenges. There's still a demand for properties. Uh, houses are shrink smaller, 448 square feet, two rooms with a bath. Uh, there was the latest project that was sold. Everybody was sold out. It was sold out. So uh, that is a group of um, developers who are on the ground with, with what size to offer, what price to offer. And if they do it correctly, they get their units sold. And some, of course, put their price higher and, and they get stuck. So the 32,000 units overhang. And it's about 30 over percent. Average 30 over percent of units are taken up. The rest are all comes under overhang. So with, with this problem will continue, I think Malaysians are robust uh, investors. You will continue to invest at the Chakamas now. I think your, all your small properties are up to the So I think the agents you will work very hard to, to get your loan and then uh, invest in Thank you. Yes, they may have something on next year, my friend.